never fought us. Not us united. Favorite moment in this entire... Maybe I should complicate this before I start speaking here. Why, hello there. Welcome to Comics League Indie Wednesday. I am your host, Jared. And today, we are talking about probably one of the coolest crossovers that I've ever covered. Typically on Indie Wednesday, I'll cover a crossover between Marvel, DC, or any other comic publisher. So I'm... Cu- last crossover I did was Wonder Woman Conan, which I actually did really well. I was really surprised. But today I'm doing Batman Spawn. And by the way, the way this is going to work from now on is I'm not going to summarize the video. I'm not going to go through beat by beat on the top. I'm just going to su- summarize what I liked about it, what I didn't like about it, the overall plot, and then I'll, I'll have some v- visuals for, from the comic book. Up. So this is written. I'm doing the first issue because th- this collection collects two books. I'm doing Batman Spawn War Devil number one. This is by like uh, Doug Moen, Chuck Dixon, and Alan Grant, and artist uh, Klaus Jansen. So, which, okay. So, who is Spawn? Spawn is the brainchild of the legendary comic book artist Todd McFarlane. So, back in the 90s, McFarlane, Jim Lee, Rob Liefeld, and a, a bunch of other creators, Silvestri, they were very fed up with the way that Marvel was treating their, like, art staff. So they decided, hey, let's, leave, let's leave, leave, let's leave Marvel, and then we'll create our own company where we have all these rules. We're essentially, we run the company the way we would want a, a company to be run. So essentially they formed Image, and then they each had their own independent books. The one for McFarlane was Spawn, and Spawn is this former, I think it was like a Delta Force operator, who was betrayed by his own government and killed and sent to hell. While in hell, he was offered a chance, kind of like Ghost Rider, to be the devil's avatar, and he would essentially be like the Punisher meets, meets, um, meets Ghost Rider. Now, the thing is that he took those powers and became a hero out of it because he wants to like get his family back and like regain his humanity so that's spawn so batman spawn so what's really cool about this is how they blend in batman because throughout the entire issue so in this one i believe it's it's spawn going to gotham i believe so actually first what they do i like how this issue starts off because it deals with with the Croatoan mystery. What I mean by that is in 1587 there was this colony called Croatoan uh, no, called um, called Roanoke and what happened was so at what, so it was w- w- one of the early se- um, it's the selling colonies. So the ship drops off the settlers and then leaves and comes back three years later and finds that the whole area is deserted there's no sign of violence there's nothing. The only thing that's left is on the highest point of a tree, the word Croatoan. So I was wondering, what the hell does that mean? So it was established in this book that it was actually on, on a pentagon. But, um, so it's, so it's further established that this Roanoke colony eventually became Gotham. So Batman is in, in, in um, as best game this case. Spawn is there trying to track down some demons. And essentially, they go on this adventure, and I like how we have Spawn doing his thing, and Batman doing his thing, and they keep getting closer and closer and closer until they have a confrontation, which actually, it goes as most superhero, like, cooperatives go, where it's Spawn, where they fight at first, then they realize, hey, why are we fighting? Why don't we team up? We, and we could, um, and we could solve this case together. And that's what happens. They team up. Plus, also, Batman's kind of, like, I want to say kind of out of his element when it comes to this type of stuff. I mean, he could just call Constantine, but he doesn't. He has the expert right there. 
So they roll out, and essentially they they defeat the enemy, and uh, essentially uh, essentially it's sort of Batman fights demons, which actually is a really cool concept. So that's essentially that. I love the art. The art is very like energetic. I'll have some art projected on the screen, but I'll also do this. It's it's essentially that, and it's it's really interesting to see like because because of course these two characters cross over, and that's the thing. When we're dealing with crossovers, it's important to only cross over characters that make sense, like Spawn and um, Spawn and Batman. Wonder Woman Conan. They work so well, they blend really well together. Essentially, Spawn's just demonic Batman that uses guns and kill people. So, there you go. And that allows for... You can meld the two together really well and just... It's just so cool, so badass. You got Spawn in this flowing cape. And you got Batman, and it just, it just looks so cool. It looks so badass. I mean, look at that. I told you, the art's fantastic. You got Batman Spawn. They have this fantastic image that I'm going to pull up. Uh, I'm going to hold up to the screen of Batman Spawn for fighting. Actually, it's cool when they first collide, and it's essentially that. It just looks so good, and I, I love this book so much. So... That's Batman Spawn War Devil. I may cover, depending on how popular th th this video is, the one by Frank Miller, which actually what's kind of funny is canon to the Dark Knight Returns universe. So, apparently, in addition to fighting Kryptonians and Superman, Batman fought a demon hunter. So, that that, that is one of the things I'm like, of, of course, of, uh, at this point, of course. But on that note, I'm gonna I'm going to call it. Let me know what you guys think about this book. And as we anticipate the release of Batman Spawn, the actual book, which I am going to pick up. Um, the, by actual book, I mean the new book, because they reprinted the original 90s crossover because they're going to release, in, in collaboration with Todd McFarlane, it's written by Todd McFarlane, art by Capullo, a new Batman Spawn crossover. So they're going to do that. And that's why I wanted to cover this now. But on that note, stay heroic, and I will see you in the next Indie Wednesday. Bye-bye, uh, everyone.